Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the AK Stilettos here and probably not the best way to set them up because I would love the Ice Wave mod in these but they won't fit. Now when you start off with them they've got a nice accuracy considering they've got a, a fairly decent fire rate, nice status chance, uh, the magazine's pretty tiny so it needs an ammo mod. Damage wise it does a total of 16 which isn't really that much. But with that kind of fire rate, they do come in pretty useful. But, as you can see, once we've put the mods back on, the status chance somehow went up. I don't know how that happened, because I actually don't have a status mod in this, so that was a bit weird. Fire rate went up, accuracy stayed the same, but, considering this had 16 damage to begin with, the puncture does more damage than that. And obviously we've got the impact up to 164, slashes uh, 82. Magazine finally went up, it goes up to 36. With Ice Wave in here it does go into the 40s, but if you're going to put that in there you will have to suffer some kind of ammo loss, which is a bit of a shame. Now we did former these three times, to be honest twice was more than enough. I was basically going for the same setup we had in the Vipers, because it's a similar kind of weapon to the Vipers, but it, the added accuracy makes it much better than the Vipers. Vipers still technically are better, as long as you're at close range. These are much better at a longer range, which is why these are actually better. Even though I just contradicted myself and said they're not, the Vipers are better. It's, the Vipers are good at close range, these are good at any range. So these are actually way better. But obviously you've got two V's, two dashes, this is the two dashes off of ammo, the V's, um, multi-shot and hornet strike. Oh, we can just go over here and there's the max ammo, the magazine capacity and then to top it off because these things fire so quick, we have the ammo mutator just to keep it topped up. To be honest, you could probably drop this and put the ice wave in here, it might make it a little bit better. The Ice Wave mod obviously takes up more space than that. If we go down here, it's a 9. So if we actually drop that in, you'll see it adds cold, which goes with the status, which I still don't know how that went up. But the magazine, it goes up to 48, which makes them much better. But you will burn through the ammo like mad like that. Because we did try it like that, which is why we dropped it for the ammo mutator. Because the ammo mutator just means you can use the weapons for a longer period of time. I do whole missions using these pistols now, which is a bit weird. Then we have the impact damage mod here, the concussion rounds. I know you said concussive. Concussion rounds, which is impact damage. Razor shots, which is slash damage, both maxed. Obviously hornet strike. And then we have the multi-shot mods, which is barrel diffusion and lethal torrent. If you cannot fit both of these in here, and you had to choose between one or the other, lethal torrent definitely better because it adds fire rate, not as much multi-shot but enough. I mean yes it is half the multi-shot of barrel diffusion but it does add fire rate at the same time which means you're going to get more, it's going to have more bullets and shoot them out faster. But obviously you don't want fire rate in there without uh, a bigger magazine otherwise you're constantly reloading. Which with this weapon considering the reload speed is really quick doesn't really matter that much anyway, so you'd probably fit that and that really early on. But the concussive rounds and the razor shot did give this a hell of a lot of damage. Okay, so these from range are actually much better. I cannot see you for the flash. Nope. Because from range you can shoot the helmets off and kill them from a distance. Because the corpus crewmen you can now shoot the helmets off to get headshots. And that is what I should have been doing with these guys. Oh, I only got the one. I missed him. Damn it. Eh, one out of two isn't bad. But it adds much better range. Because the accuracy is better, the grouping of the bullets is better. And because you're not just holding the flame and fire button and hoping for the best, your ammo is going to last a hell of a lot longer. But you can still do the same kind of damage the Vipers were doing. So basically it's like a long range Viper. 
I can say I love the Vipers so much as you can imagine. Uh, even the Wraith ones are pretty much retired as soon as I got these and format them three times pretty quickly. Though to be honest the three was probably overkill. You can get away with doing two. Oh, he's up there. I'll just shoot him through that little hole. Without using up all the bullets. I hear you. Other side of the room. Oh, crap. That was way off. But these do come out to be really nice pistol with the, the mods set up this way. The ice wave, obviously if you shoot them it'll do ice damage, but all that's really going to do is slow them down long enough for you to put them extra shots in. Not really needed that much. Because they do enough damage to begin with that you can kill them before they run away anyway. Haha, uh -huh, party aim. <laughs> So we'll leave that off here for now. As I say, it's just the fact the accuracy is better. You don't really need the extra clip capacity that the Ice Wave gives. It would still be nice because it means you're not reloading as much. But it's not really that important. This, these things do enough damage and have enough good accuracy. That it is pretty hard to miss what you're aiming at unless you basically use our aim. Which is what it is with me, I can't aim for shit. So, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.